Knights Nation welcomes you. All right, Freedom Hall. This was the former home of the Louisville Cardinals. It's here in an exhibition center with other area, other fairground buildings and of course Kentucky Kingdom behind me. Iconic place for many great Cardinal basketball teams of the past. But it has a new home now for the Knights. And we're just gonna see what it's all about. Is it gonna be a little bit of the old and the new? Is it gonna be just the way it looked when the Louisville Cardinals played there 20, 30 years ago? Is it gonna be like the days of the old ABA? We'll find out once we go inside. All right, here are the old ticket boots that used to be open for Cardinals basketball. No more. Are they kicking us out? I don't know. I don't know how to get in here. I don't think there's a rush of people trying to get into Freedom Hall tonight. But it's, ooh. Have you seen a game here before? Uh, not a Bellarmine game. Yeah, Bellarmine. No, I don't think it's going to be like a Louisville game from the past. I but doubt it. So you can see tickets are as low as 15, as high as 25 on the court. Women games are a little bit cheaper. We got the sounds of Pat Benatar entertaining us here. Much different than the Cardinals game we just went to, or the one you saw last week. A little different at Bellarmine. But it is nice and warm in here, so I'm not gonna complain. All right, we have Kentucky Hall of Famers plaques on the walls here. Nice little touch, and that goes all the way down here. Got some freshly popped popcorn as well. So a little bit of a light crowd right now. We'll see how things are in a few moments. Uh, there is the corridor into the building, into the seating bowl. Get some Coors Light over here. Domestic beers are seven. And cocktails are seven to nine. So, can't complain. So you get some chips, some candy, some soda. Got hot dogs on the grill there. These are your eats. AP chicken nugget, hot dogs, fries, Coke products. All right here. Look at that line for the uh, beer. It's getting big, it's getting larger. Kind of a sterile atmosphere here. Not to say that I haven't been to a gym or an arena that hasn't been like this in the past. So, uh, just see what it's like once you're in the seating bowl. See some life over here. Let's check it out. All right, people are coming in. Watch out for their garden long drinks. Nice little inflatable of the Bellarmine Knight logo. It's nice. This is where we came in initially when I was outside. It's dark now and it's cold. Welcome to Freedom Hall. Alright, so this waffle cone location works. And you get ice cream cup for six, waffle cone for six. Not too bad. And here we are with the Kentucky pork producers. Get yourself a pork chip sandwich. I like how those look. Pork chop, burger, barbecue, ham, pork hot dog, pork chili dog, nachos. All at the Kentucky pork producer stand, which uh, looks like they got some really awesome chips back there. All right. So, yeah, let's go Knights, baby! All right. Let's go Knights, number one, baby, let's go! Coming to a lot of games here. Woo! He's a fan 
favorite. What's that? Coming to a lot of games at Freedom Hall? Of course, of course. Yes. Nights all the way, baby. All right. all right, I got some enthusiastic fans here. I like that. All right, we got about 11 minutes before the game starts. A lot of open space there. Okay, these are just chairs. <laughs> Chairs. Plenty of chairs. And there's the upper level. There's the chair squad. TV crew. TV radio crew. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you will help with athletics, keep players, coaches, and fans safe by wearing a face mask. Space back here. A lot of space. 
stick a hockey rink, you can stick a equestrian ride here or something, I don't know, but there's the ramp. And then here is how you get inside. Okay, so we're on the upper level of uh, Freedom Hall. It's a timeout right now. Sort of has the feel of like the Farm Show Arena in uh, Harrisburg a little bit. Definitely built in another era. Heavily renovated in 84. Not much action goes up in the upper deck here. A nice little view, don't you think? As you can tell, these are all chairs. It's kind of interesting how they have it like that. I wonder what if that was always the case. And I think the same can be said for the other side. Uh, and then, of course, we have these chairs. These look like old school chairs. Not a bad view from up here either. Tickets are cheap enough to hang out and take in a game. There's all the teams in the conference. There's uh, Eastern Kentucky, Bellarmine, Jacksonville. I think Jacksonville State's in here too, Florida Gulf Coast. Not really familiar with all of them. Uh, classic uh, look to Freedom Hall. But just a lot of empty seats here. That's just kind of, it's a big arena. And look at all, look at this huge gap here. You can definitely put a hockey arena here. Definitely have a hockey arena. A lot of room in here. If there's a way they can convert this and you But there's your building. Is this even open? I like to get a stike. Ooh, it's cold in here. I don't know what this was. <laughs> Alright, so all right, so the Saddle and Sirloin Club is not open. Uh, can anybody tell me if that was something to see here when you went to a game? But that's like just seems like out of place here. Yeah, this is a very 1980-ish arena. Obviously, it was built in 1956 and refurbished later. I keep saying that a lot. But it's kind of fun walking through these old buildings. It's, uh, it's a sense of history. If you grew up watching games, you were like, yay. Nothing's changed. And, you know, that's not too bad. That's not a bad thing to have uh, a sense of uh, being able to go home. They got everything you need here. Drinks, cocktails, pork products from the Kentucky Pork Association. Would you like a pork chop sandwich? It's very tasty. Very good. And here's their menu. Hot dog, pretzel, nachos. There's six popcorns, four. Hot dog is six. Six dollars for a hot dog. That better be a damn big hot dog. <laughs> All right. There's the exit. There's ramp E. Let's take one look at Freedom Hall before we leave. Well, I hope you enjoyed our visit to Freedom Hall. Still playing basketball to Bellarmine. 
It's not getting the crowds of 18, 19 thousands like it used to, but it still provides a little comfort food for those who grew up in the area. So tickets are affordable. You're up close to the action and a little bit easier to get to this, some other arenas. So if you happen to be in Louisville and you can check out a Knights game, go for it. Why not? Be a little historic for the night. So this is Mark the Ballpark Hunter saying goodbye. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time. I'm the Ballpark Hunter. If you like my videos, please hit subscribe as I visit another ballpark.